Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on creating a stem and leaf plot using Microsoft Excel. In this worksheet in column A, I have fictitious data. I have 50 values here, and I'm going to use a series of formulas to create a stem and leaf plot here in column C and D. First, I want to determine the stem values. And I'm going to do that by calculating the minimum and maximum values located in column A. So this will be equal sign min for minimum, and then it'll be a1, control shift down arrow, that takes us to a50. That's the last cell that has a value in it. And we can see that the minimum value here is 30. For maximum, a similar process, this will be equal sign max for maximum, and again a1 through a50. We have a maximum value here of 78. So for the stem values, this will be 3 through 7. So I'll input those under the stem label. And now we move on to calculating the leaf values. Calculating the leaf values involves a formula that has two functions, the COUNTIF function nested within a repeat function, REPT. And this combination will be repeated 10 times. However, the digit will change corresponding to the possible digits in the leaf value. So it'll be 0 through 9. So the function is actually quite large. I have it here in this worksheet. This is what the final function looks like for this first cell, the one that corresponds with the, with the stem value of 3. And you can see it's the same combination of count if nested in the repeat function repeated 10 times with only the text value changing 0 and 1, 2, 3, and so on. And then in this C3 times 10 it has plus 0. This changes to plus 1, plus 2, 3, and so on. So I'll demonstrate that over here in cell D3. So be equal sign R E P T for repeat. And then we have the text, and the text will be quotation mark zero space quotation mark. If you don't want there to be a space between the leaf values, of course you can leave that out, or if you want different spacing, you can just add subtract spaces as necessary. Moving on to the next argument, it's number of times. And this is where we'll start the count if function. The count if function has two arguments. And the first is the range. And that's going to be a1 and colon a50, all the values in column A. However, I want this range to be absolute. Right now it's a relative reference. I want this to be an absolute reference. So I'll move up here to the formula bar and press F4 for A1 and F4 for A50. I could also just type these dollar signs in at this level. This makes this an absolute reference. Now as I autofill this down, this reference will not change. Then moving to criteria. For the criteria argument, I'm going to move here and select cell C3, the stem value of 3, and then asterisk 10 plus 0. We're putting a plus 0 in there as a placeholder as we copy and paste this formula several times. This value would change to 1, 2, 3, and so on. So this will return all of the 0 leaf values. And we can see in this case, there's just one at the stem value of 3. And it's this value here in A2, 30. So what we would do from this point is to copy this formula and then use the ampersand and paste it. I just used Control c to copy and Control v to paste. And instead of this being a 0 here in the second Part of this, this is going to be a 1. So it's going to be 1 for text, and then at the end, the C3 times 10 
plus 1. And again, an ampersand, and the next one would be 2, and then so on. And this is how we get to this formula here. So I'm just going to copy and paste this formula, control C, move over to stem and leaf, and then here, control V. I'm just going to paste this in. And you can see we have all the leaf values now. So this data set, this variable, contains 30, 32, 33 appears twice, 34, 35, and 39. That's how we read the stem and leaf. And from this point, to generate the other leaf values to correspond with the other stem values, I'm just going to autofill this formula down. So now you can see we have all the leaf values for the five different stem values. We can see here for stem value of 4, there's two 40s, there's four 42s, two 43s, and so on. So this is similar to a histogram, except it's on its side. And instead of bars, this uses the values. So it gives you a bit more information than a histogram. And of course, because this uses this formula, it's dynamic. So for example, if I wanted to change this value 57 to 78, this would update the leaf value here. So now you have 278s reflected as being in the variable instead of just the one. Now of course what this will not do is it will not update any stem values. So if we wanted to add values greater than 79 or less than 30, we would have to update the stem values accordingly. I hope you found this video on creating a stem and leaf plot in Excel to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.